On the night of April the 13th, 1944, I escaped from Germany. I had been hiding in Freiburg for nearly a year, forged papers, forged ration cards. And then some people I knew put me in touch with a courier. For a fee, he would help you to cross the border to Switzerland. He took my money. We walked. I don't know how long I was close to collapse. And then he left me. He said, follow the stream. There's a customs house. There'll be no light, but you'll find it. I felt between two worlds. I'd lost all sense of time and place. I kept falling, but felt nothing. And then, at last, I stumbled, and there was concrete, and such a pain in my leg. I was aware of a man coming out of a doorway. I asked him where I was. Sagen Sie mir gleich, wo ich bin. Seien Sie ruhig. Sie sind in der Schweiz. Warten Sie, ich komme. And he said, You are in Switzerland. You are safe. It's all right. I'm coming. And Germany was behind me forever. This is the story of the Nazi persecution of the Jewish people as told through the autobiography of one woman, Elspeth Rosenfeld. Elspeth was Christian, but her father and her husband were Jewish. And had she been caught escaping, she would have faced arrest, imprisonment, almost certain death. The fate shared by the many million victims of Nazi racism. Yes, please, as soon as you can. She's from Germany, I think. The customs man telephoned for a doctor, and he gave me some brandy, and then we waited. He's very busy, but he'll be here as soon as he can. And I don't know why, he, he didn't seem to want me to fall asleep, so he kept asking questions. And I found myself telling him everything. The whole story. Is it too painful to talk about? No. No, strangely, quite the opposite. Because, you see, to tell my story meant I was alive to tell it. It meant I knew how the ending went. And the ending was me, there, talking to this foreigner. For so many years, I'd been terrified the ending might be quite different. <laughs>